get there without you noticing and do this kind of stuff. Yeah, and he sent... Wait, does Izaki know? Like, did they? Did he tell them what warehouse he got out of? Like, they know where he was being kept, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they know where he was kept. He said he didn't really have any information on the two people that, like, kidnapped him. Like, he just... He didn't see anything. They were in ski masks. Right. And, like, the whole time he was there, he said he didn't really get any information out of them. Okay. But they knew where he came from. It's weird that the acid... Because they sent acid eye drops to him, too. Yeah. Maybe that's just what they could get their hands on. They're like, we have this one tub of acid. Let's make it go. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot more in the future but yeah i feel like this is like just a message to him because like the letter said like you broke your promise and then they still don't collect the money like uh, they're still they still don't have their ransom right so maybe this is like hey we're gonna do this to your daughter we're gonna do this to your wife or whatever that's a bold threat (laughs) i will dissolve you in acid that does not (laughs) seem like a good way to go because like I've only seen, maybe there's like 10 letters that I'm going to be talking about. They sent 147. Like, each day they could have been sending more letters that just aren't really talked about. Right. Or like, I can't find. So like, who knows why they're sending all this stuff, but it's definitely some kind of message. Well, and they usually like keep stuff private so that if someone comes forward and said they did it. Right. Yeah, this is still like, they're not really sharing any information with the public at this point. They should. <laughs> this is also just well. It's also just focusing mostly on like him specifically, but also like Lico, right? As a company, so like they're not really thinking this could affect the public, right? right. That's true. But yeah, let's see. Fe- April twenty second. So another letter to Izaki saying, "I'm very happy." Like, presumably to hear that Izaki would cooperate and give instructions on where to go to drop off the money on April 24th. So, like, again, they prepare money for this ransom and no one comes to collect it. That's so weird. Like, yeah. Is it? They're, they obviously don't want money because they, if they wanted it, they would get it. They would have taken it from the wife to begin with. Right, she offered money and they said no. Like, that's a lot of red herrings. For You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, let's see, let's see what we can get him to do. Maybe they're just seeing what the police would do, too. Right. Or distracting so they can do something else. I mean, that's definitely possible. Like, people do talk about that. Like, what else could have been going on that you just never noticed because of this? Yeah, I think there's a lot more to it than just... Because they never collect the money i don't yeah it's just weird it is really weird yeah especially because i what i don't get is like what leverage do they even have at this point like why are they even preparing money other than to see who it is but they don't have anything that at this point they don't have anything like he got away they lost their like token but they do know where he lives and they already got into his house so like them saying we'll kill your daughter like he has three kids that are young right his wife like maybe yeah, that if he gives them the money who says that they'll stop right yeah they don't really have much going for them for like participating but i think just the police again like in japan there's really no unsolved cases so like right. they're like any criminal we gotta catch that makes sense they it's just to get answers yeah so yeah um again they wanted the money dropped off on the 24th nothing happened so may 10th there's a letter to police that call the police liars and say glico was insolent <laughs> For like, but they tried to give them the money. Yeah, they followed the instructions, <laughs> but they didn't show up. Don't get it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's just <laughs> like it's it's pure gaslighting. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's their whole point. It's just to make everyone feel stupid, right? 
yeah, because they do berate the police a lot too. But anyway, they do say in, on May 10th, um, they said there were two products injected with 0.05 grams of sodium cyanide in stores somewhere between Nagoya and Okoyama. See, that was my Tylenol connection. Yeah. <laughs> cyanide. Right. But like, it's not enough to kill, but it's enough to hospitalize anyone who ate it. In this letter, they say this. And then um, they also say in 10 days, they would inject eight more products with 0.1 gram of sodium cyanide in stores between Tokyo and Fukuoka. And then 10 days after that, they'd inject 10 products with 0.2 gram in stores between Hokkaido and Okinawa, which uh, you're not familiar with Japan, but that's basically the whole country is between those two cities. Oh, <laughs> why would they even include that? Because they want to cause fear, I feel like. So I did. Does, so do they. Go ahead. Well, I did find that a lethal dose is 0.1 gram per 50 kilograms of body weight, which is 110 pounds. So them saying they're going to do 10 products with 0.2 grams is definitely enough to kill like any person. Right. I did just look at a map. Yeah, that is the entire country. <laughs> Except like a little tiny like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's stupid. It's the whole country. I was gonna say, yeah, that would kill. Like, that. I feel like they're, like, 220 pounds. Right. Seems like a lot for, especially in the 80s, you know? Oh, for body weight? Yeah. Yeah. Like, how many people in Japan right. in the 80s, they know they're not obese. Right. And they're short, they tend to be shorter, so. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that first... When they sent this letter May 10th, two products are already injected with 0 0.05 grams, which is like half the amount needed to kill a 110 pound person, which would be any kid. And this is candy. Oh my God. Yeah. And then they're saying 10 days after that, they're going to inject more with enough to kill a 110 pound person. And then 10 days after that, they're going to inject to kill like double that. Like a two adults or yeah. Oh, okay. One hundred and ten pounds probably even would take out a lot of people. Right. It definitely kill a kid, but it still hospitalize an adult. Right. Yeah. Well, but even like I feel like there are plenty of adults. Oh that yeah. One hundred and ten or less. Yeah. Right. You just need to eat one candy bar that has this. That they're saying they put in stores. Wow. Um, yeah, so that's May 10th. Well, I just thought it was funny. The letter ended with, eat Glico and let's go to the graveyard. <sighs> so are they trying to get everything recalled? Like what? Yeah, I feel like they are trying to do that. So interesting. the next day, parts of this letter are shared with the media. Well, no, that day parts of this letter are shared with the media to get it out to the public that there could be candy like laced with this and the next day major companies pulled all of Glico's products which caused their stock to plummet so I feel like it is kind of a game with the stock too yeah like we can destroy you without even doing anything all we just have to do is threaten that we did something yeah because yeah, I saw over the next two weeks, like, Glico's stock price would drop to 485 yen per share, which is, like, $4.85, $4.85. But I couldn't find, like, what it was before that, but, like, the day before this, where I read this, it said it was at 550 yen per share. So, so like, it I mean, dropped. That's a considerable. Yeah, in one day. <laughs> Percentage-wise, yeah. Right. Yeah, so, and... I think they did actually find a couple products that did have sodium cyanide in it too. So like they're oh, they not really just, did it. Yeah, I think at this point, yeah, they found. That's scary. <laughs> right. So May twentieth, a letter is sent to a supplier of Glico that says, "Give this letter to Glico's president, or we'll come after you too." <laughs> so they're like making suppliers now get involved. <laughs> 
And the letter to the president basically berated them for the stock plummet, <laughs> saying, <Yes. laughs> "Yeah, saying, aren't you guys businessmen? You're supposed to be making money, not losing it." <laughs> And also saying next Valentine's Day will be laced with cyanide. So this is in oh May, God. and they're already saying next February this is still going to be a problem. So, <laughs> yeah. Can you girl boss gaslight? <laughs> That's not Red right. The but... word. <laughs> Can we gatekeep girl boss gaslight? That is... I think it's gaslight gatekeep girl boss <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm not part of the culture. <laughs> okay, so anyway, they berate him the 20th, the 31st, May, May 31st. Another letter is sent to Izaki for a drop off on June 2nd for money. They need to chill with the fake drop. <laughs> right. It's killing me. Yeah. So June 2nd, they follow instructions to meet as at the designated restaurant. There's lots of undercover police officers. They were told to leave the cash in a car and the driver would take the keys from a Glico manager and drive the car for like the Monster with 21 Faces group. So the police installed a kill switch in the car so it would die and they could arrest the driver, which it worked. But the driver ended up being a 22-year-old who had been a victim of carjacking and abduction by the criminals along with his 18-year-old date. So he had oh to God. be the driver for them. Yeah. And um, shortly after, like, the car is restarted and driven by an investigator who, like, the victim had given directions for the meeting location that he was told. And while the, in the investigator is driving there, the car is overtaken by a suspicious car and a chase ensues, but the car gets away. And then the investigator goes to the meeting place and no one's there. So again... Well, this just got intense. Yeah, this gets crazy. So, like, obviously, they're fairly organized if they could come up with... Right. Yeah, they made mm -hmm. someone else be their driver so they wouldn't get caught and, like, carjacked him. That's crazy. And also, they are, like, chasing... Like, I feel like they do kind of want the money, but they just never end up getting it. Right. They're probably... They know. Like, I feel like they're like, okay, let's do it. And then they realize there's a ton of cops and we are yeah. not going to get out of this. Right. You're going to get caught if you get it. But also, it could just be a distraction still. I mean, if it's a big group, right. someone could be doing this stuff while a different group is doing something else. That's crazy. Yeah. So June 11th, police begin a search of 800,000 homes asking door to door for any information. So they they are seriously trying to investigate this too. Like they spent a lot of manpower. That's a lot. Yeah. And knocking oh door to gosh. door. Like they're just going to be like, "Oh yeah, it's actually me." Well, again, like the kind of like your neighborhood should stick up for your neighborhood, right? Like, if this is happening in the, the city that you're in, the cops are thinking that because maybe that's your inside circle, you're gonna say suspicious activity to the police. Like, if you saw something. Like, a regular citizen's gonna come Right, over. like, you would... Yeah, someone might say something, especially if they're asked. Like, I feel like if you're not asked, maybe you yeah. just don't say anything. But if someone goes out of their way to ask you, then you're probably more likely to share what you know. Right. Yeah, and if they show up at your door, maybe right. you would. Like, you should be polite. You should invite them in. You should give them tea or something. And then maybe you talk. Right. So, yeah. But then... Um, June 22nd, a letter arrives to the home of Takashi Haga, which is president of Marudai Foods, where they get the same spiel where Monster 21 faces wants money and threatens to poison their foods. So this is now the second company that is being extorted. It's just weird that up until now it hasn't... Like, it has seemed really targeted. Yeah, like from March till June... Right, and all of a sudden now they're like, okay, on to the next, or let's let's have more. Right, because they're still, like, messing with Glico during that for a little bit. 
Wow. But yeah, so June 26th, I mean, only four days after they sent it, 